Hey everybody, this is Ryan Hickey. What is going on in Seattle? The Rams beat the Seahawks 23 to 16 on Sunday, and now for the third time in four games, the Seahawks have lost and now find themselves in a three-way tie for first place with the Rams and with the Cardinals. Now, after the great start Seattle got off to, where Russell Wilson was looking like a bona fide MVP candidate, can the Seahawks get that magic back? Because after that hot start, these last four games have been a struggle for Seattle. What is going on? Should we be concerned that these problems that are festering can't be fixed? There are two issues that I see with Seattle going on right now that are plaguing them. Both, though, Seahawks fans, you can take a deep breath, are fixable. Number one is offensive line has not been able to protect Russell Wilson of late. The Rams got to Wilson on Sunday six times and obviously forced a lot more early throws in Wilson to get out of the pocket earlier than he wanted to, not allowing the big play to get completed, and that kind of put a standstill on the Seahawks offense on Sunday. This is starting to come a pattern though. The last five games, Russell Wilson has been sacked 19 times. The Seahawks are allowing the fifth most sacks in the NFL. That's crazy considering how mobile Russell Wilson is. He's not getting enough time in the pocket to have these deep throws develop. That's why he's not being able to hit DK Metcalf. He's not being able to hit Tyler Lockett of late. And that's why this offense, after getting off to a hot start, basically being unstoppable the first five, six weeks of the season, have now really come back down to earth and have slowed down of late. In part, it's because Russell Wilson isn't getting the time necessary from his offensive line in order to make the deep throws, in order to make the big throws that he did early on in the season. The other issue, number two, that I've noticed so far with the Seahawks, is Russell Wilson is trying too hard. It feels like the Seahawks know the only way they can win games is by outscoring opponents. And so far, Russell Wilson has taken the field with that mentality, with the mindset of we have to score a touchdown on every single possession, or else, you know what, our defense is probably going to give up a touchdown and we're going to be in big trouble. That's forcing Russell Wilson to make some bad decisions, trying to hero plays, and guess what? That has turned out badly so far for the Seahawks. Wilson had two interceptions and a fumble loss, three total turnovers in Sunday's loss to the Rams. That is now starting to become an alarming trend that has to decrease if the Seahawks want to get back on the right page. Going back to the last four games, which remember, three of them have been losses. Russell Wilson has thrown seven interceptions, three lost fumbles. So 10 total turnovers the last four games, three of them Seattle has lost. This is not a recipe for success, and it feels like to me, watching Russell Wilson, he is trying too hard. Instead of taking what's in front of him, taking what the defense gives him, he's trying to make a hero play, fit the ball into tight windows, throw the ball into double coverage to try to make a hero touchdown pass, instead of taking what the defense has given him, keep the offense moving, get the first down, and keep the chains moving. To me, the solution for Russell Wilson's turnovers starts on the defensive side of the ball. They need to gain Wilson's trust back. And once they do so, Wilson will be more comfortable taking what the defense gives him, not trying to be a hero in every single play, and instead get the offense humming to where it was early on in the year where they had trust in the defense and they were taking what the defense gave them. And again, weren't forcing throws into tight windows. Wilson not trying to be a hero, a magician, a Houdini on every single play trying to score a touchdown. So once the defense plays better, gets even one or two stops per game more than they're getting right now, to me, that'll be enough for Russell Wilson trust the defense again, and from there, not trying to make these ridiculous throws, not trying to make some bad decisions, and try to fit some balls in the tight windows, which will lead the Seattle Seahawks offense to having more success. Both issues, though, to me, are very fixable. For the offensive line perspective, just give Russell Wilson a little bit more time, just a second more, he'll be able to hit those deep shots to lock it and to Metcalf get this offense rolling. And from Russell Wilson's perspective with turnovers, once you trust the defense, or once I should say the defense gains the trust of Wilson back, either turnovers will cut down, and from there the offense will be looking more like it did at the beginning of the season than it has the past few weeks. So Seattle, no need to panic. To me, you're still the NFC favorites to go to the Super Bowl. Small issues, got to fix both, and you'll be back on the right track.